So, so I, I find that interesting. I, I, I'm going to focus in on one point that, that you sort of said. So, so you became managing partner in 2004. Okay, 2008 uh, was the Great Recession mm -hmm. or start of the Great Recession, and now you're convincing the firm. Hey, we got to spend money on marketing. Where's the return on investment? So we can do a radio show. How is that going to pay back? You miss you miss another one in there. That at, their, at our annual general meeting, we had just, we had made the commitment as a firm at the time to not lay anybody off. Okay. Because of what was going on, because everybody was using it either realistically or not as an opportunity to cut payroll. So we had made a commitment right around the same time yeah. that we were not going to lay anybody off. And you know, at the end of the day, we figured that was going to cost us all about fifty thousand dollars a year. Yeah. Okay, as partners, yeah. to commit to a payroll that we probably couldn't have, we could have gotten away with cutting, realistically. So you but take it's not who we are. no, and yeah, and, and you and you take that with now go sell marketing concepts to people who this don't get marketing. The Great Recession provided a great opportunity. We dug around, we found situations where it worked. Uh, Jamie Oje, who was uh, working with Cedars and had the connection at Cedars, brought the opportunity to us. Um, you know, sometimes you're in the right place at the right time. I like to think that you know it's part of its forethought. But as my father used to tell me, better be you know I'd rather be lucky than good any day. So we found ourselves with two situations that were not nearly as costly as they would have been a year or two earlier before the market tanked, um, and a, tr a chance to try something for a year, see what it's like, see where it goes, see if there's any evolution, see if there's any traction, see if it makes a difference. Um, I have to tell you that I, I can't go anywhere in the city when you know for somebody who meets the firm the first time and doesn't know about a radio show, uh, and certainly when it comes to other accounting firms, they hate it. <laughs> they hate the traction in the, perfect, and, and the marketing he's got based on that exercise. And you know everybody can say, well, and radio, you know, there's a whole bunch of exercises. Sure. <laughs> the demographic stream surprised me at the end of the day. So there was it was a right place at the right time, but it was taking. You know, I was taking kind of a, a ballsy approach to doing something that you would be, it was kind of counter cyclical. Um, and I think the opportunity to grow and do things, you have to take advantage of situations when they present themselves. Uh, and you have to be able to think outside the box. And, and that's, I would say, probably one of the bigger challenges of having been managing partner now for the better part of 15 years is trying to get us outside of the comfort zone that most of us grew up in. Most of that, that drew most of us into a profession which is traditionally very conservative in its approach and trying to get people to think differently. And that's been probably some of the biggest challenge. You know, I, the hardest problem, I think, to me is, is managing people who lack self-awareness. So if you fall into the conservative zone, you don't like change, you're not self-aware, it's not an easy sell. And as we, of course, you know, everybody looks at the human resource side of things, it's one of two things. It's either your biggest expense or your biggest asset. Uh, so for us, it's really our <coughs> biggest asset. And from a growth standpoint and getting people a little bit out of their comfort zone, uh, I like, I like to, to think of, of us and probably a number of, firm, number of professional service bodies that we're kind of like a teaching hospital. Uh, and how do you teach? You've got to put people in situations where they may not be comfortable in, but ultimately, professionally, will grow to a great degree and be a great, even better asset to themselves and to us. Um, the radio program was part of it, where we have we bring in different different people within the firm uh, each week, and they talk a little bit about their specialty for five minutes. It gets them comfortable. It gets them into another area. In client meetings, we bring our juniors, our seniors, that might not say very much, but they're sponges and they absorb, and, and that helps grow the professionals as well. And it, it's all part of that same package of, of going up. 